is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some insane breaking news for you guys. Kind of a lot of speculation around the situation. I'll get into it. I'll give you guys my opinion on it, and I'll just kind of circulate. If you guys notice, like, my voice is a little bit hoarse. I do apologize. I kind of feel like trash, to be honest with you. That's probably why I look like trash, too. So if I look a little bit like I, I'm living on the street, that is, that is a bit why. I feel a little bit under the weather. I think it's sinuses, mostly. I'm real congested and stuff like that. I don't think it's, like, COVID real related or anything like that it's not like flu like symptoms it's just like you know pressure and like fogginess and like you know congestion really bad but that's besides the point man if you guys have been on social media of any kind you have noticed that cody and brandy are apparently leaving aew and there are multiple reports from all over the net talking about him going to wwe so leaving aew and going to wwe again which is a, a complete cra like that's just insane right like when you break that down. Lots of stuff we got to get into in this video and you guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you really think is going on? Do you think it's official? What do you think the reasoning is? There's just kind of a lot of things going on that I've seen and I just want to break all of it down and just talk with you about it. So first of all, let's get into Cody Rhodes' statement that he posted on Twitter. We'll run through that and then we'll break it down. We'll, we may cover Brandy's as well. But, you know, they're a package deal. They come together, they're husband and wife, you know, uh, they, they're going to feed off each other, you know. A, a husband and wife's relationship, man, that is like the foundation and core of a family. And that's where, you know, that's uh, if one goes somewhere, you know, that's probably where the other one's going to go as well. But let's get into the statement. So I will pull it up on the screen so you guys can read along or at least try to. But let's read it out to, aloud to the class. I have loved my time at AEW. Amazing locker room, amazing fans, amazing people. The revolution was indeed televised, and I've been incredibly lucky to be a part of that. First, I want to thank Tony Khan. He's taken the baton and run with it and it was an honor to work for him and to know him on a personal level he's a beautiful soul obviously need to thank my incredible wife and the mother of my baby girl brandy for all of her love and support throughout this journey together and the amazing relationship she fostered with culture city and the american heart association i also need to thank nick and matt jackson these two whether they know it or not took an undesired and not confident little club and gifted the confidence to become a leader of the pack Kenneth Omega is which is what I call him so that's kind of cool that he adopted that name right there I don't know if other people call him that but I've called him that for years without knowing other people call him that but Chris Jericho chicken I can't name everybody but thank you to blah 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 and there's lots of names here I'm not gonna go through all the names that'd be absolutely ridiculous anyways I have so many milestones and beautiful memories of this renaissance through through sweat, blood, tears, literal fire, and all that. I don't like the way he said that. I should have said through blood, sweat, tears, and literal fire. Regardless. I left it all on the map. Everything pales in comparison to the final contribution I was empowered to lead at the company, the community outreach team, and the most inward moments, your outward behavior, and your ability to take fame and influence and do something for value for the communities you visit, whether the cameras are on or off, is the highest honor. I am confident Amanda Huber will lead the department with style. I'm so proud of my creations and contributions and the items I supported or collaborated on with such wonderful professions. Thank you, fans. Y'all did the work. Let's live forever. So, this is complete bonkers, to be honest with you. Complete bonkers, uh, you know, when you just look at it from every single aspect. So, let's break it down from the beginning of the timeline, right? So, Cody Rhodes was, uh, he was in WWE. He didn't like the way he was being treated. He felt like he could do much more, that there were greener pastures out there, like many talents in the past. And so, he broke off. He did his own thing. Years later, him and a group of great wrestling talent come together. Some brilliant minds and business minds come together, and they create this all-elite wrestling, AEW. Eh? where, you know, it's going to be way different. I'm going to give an alternative to the WWE product that everybody's known for so long and kind of give them, you know, something special here. He goes out there. He's got the golden shovel. He breaks the freaking throne with the sledgehammer, talking about WWE left and right. And then uh, here he is later leaving the company to go back to the company that treated him like dog shit, or at least that's what we've been told or, the, you know, multiple accounts. That's what we've heard through the grapevine. I don't know what to even think of it, you know? I, I really don't know what to think. I think it's outrageous, regardless if it's a work. I don't think it's a work, or at least I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a work, but it's definitely interesting and intriguing, and that's where I currently sit. I'm just interested and intrigued to see where this thing goes from here. I think it's just wild, honestly. I mean, this week in wrestling has been insane. There's talks of Steve Austin coming out of retirement and fighting Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. That's completely bonkers. That's absurdity. I don't know what to even do with that. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. <clears throat> but 
I've seen a lot of people saying that Cody's leaving for money reasons, and it's like, I didn't think that Cody was a top money guy, because wouldn't the money all be in WWE anyway? Why would he have left if that was the only case? Was he making that much money anyway? Did they offer him a ton of money that he couldn't refuse, and he's just doing what's best for the family? There's so many different aspects to the thing, but I really don't know where I sit on this currently. I just think that it's just, it's, it's completely madness. It's complete madness. Is he gonna go to WWE? I've heard that he's not gonna be in the ring. He's gonna be behind the scenes i've heard that like leaving for wwe is like the concrete deal right now like that's like that's exactly what people think is going to happen too bad the royal rumble is not in like a couple weeks that would be absurd but you know his contract ran out remember he was a free agent like could they not work on a new deal did wwe you know cut all this talent you guys know that uh, everybody always picks on aew for signing all this ex wwe talent or whatever keith lee adam cole malachi black brian danielson you had cm punk come in is this the fallout of those things you know maybe they couldn't afford cody and brandy they couldn't bring them back because there was no money to go around is that the case i don't know i i do not know maybe that's what it happened you know wwe got rid of all this talent aew just kept signing and signing and signing and at the end of the day they weren't able to re-sign their talent that they have homegrown from the ground up from the beginning so i don't know lots of speculation here i really do not know where to go with it i'm honestly shocked i don't know what to think i'm seeing like multiple things reported continually you know dustin rose chimed in on the thing there i mean there have been so many different aspects of this thing sean rice sap literally tweeted it word inside the wrestling world is that cody rhodes could be leaving aew and joining wwe i think there have even been talks of like stone cold steve austin fighting cody rhodes at wrestlemania as like a wwe versus aew type deal i just don't know what he could benefit from besides money i guess you know i just don't i think he would be way down everything wwe does outside of maybe a handful of talents is really watered down and it's something that's not engaging for real like there are some things obviously i think that they get right but for a majority of the things that they book that they show us on television like if cody were to go to wwe i don't know if it would be a product i guess i would watch just because i'd be intrigued with it but i don't know after those first couple storylines and you know aew tie-ins and things and talks and things of that nature of him leaving and maybe the grandness that they can bring there and like i'm back and all this stuff like that i don't know if they could keep that momentum rolling right after that i feel like he would go into something that was just dumb and non-existent probably a feud with shane mcmahon or wait he's shane mcmahon no longer with wwe so that wouldn't even work but you know what i mean like outside of that i don't know what the value would be for him i've heard people be like now he can finally be treated the way he needs to but i don't know like i just don't see vince mcmahon doing that why would he bring cody back in and do that I just don't know. I guess Cody is, like, he's not old like Goldberg, Brock Lesnar old, where, you know, it's like he's he's on the come down. You know, he still has years left in the tank, unless he doesn't want to. But, you know, they could bring him in as one of those veteran names that everybody knows that could keep some life in WWE a little bit longer. Maybe that's what they're thinking. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if it's a damn work or not, or if they're trying something grand finale style in AEW for Cody to come back and win the world title or something like that as a big time heel or I, I don't know what to what to really believe man but I just had to get some of these thoughts out there and just see what you guys thought but uh, I mean the things are currently still being reported you know people think that he's just going to go over to WWE in a month he'll be chasing around the 24-7 championship which could totally see so but regardless if everything comes down to the fact it's still with all the announcements and the official statements and things like that I could see it being a work but at the same time I could also see it not being a work and I'm just excited for every possibility that we could possibly possibly get man so whether he does go to wwe stays in aew you know you get some crossover i don't know i i just think that regardless it's going to be a super fun time man but i had to go get on here report on the video you know tell you guys my thoughts on everything taking place you guys could let me know everything you think of it down in the comment section below but it's totally wild man i'm gonna go take some medicine and lay the hell down but uh for now yeah, this was this was an insane day. Wrestling never misses in the news, man. Wrestling is just every single day there is something going on in wrestling Twitter world, man. I swear to God, it never fails. Something always happens. And that's what happened today, man. Maybe the most insane story of the year so far. I think it probably is. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. I'm going to go blow my nose because I can feel some leakage already. I'm, I just crossed the line. Cross the line, I've been...